Can I just do a grande ice matcha with cold foam? And then can I do the bacon gouda sandwich, please? The car in front of me like honked at me and I'm like really nervous to be on this line. I'm becoming a car filming girly and a Starbucks girly. Hey guys, what is up? It's Melanie. I'm actually here waiting for a hair appointment, which is really exciting. And it's the start to this video. Oh my gosh, it's so cold for me. Today's video is really exciting. It's looking forward to the new year. All starts with me getting my hair dyed because I always do that for the beginning of the new year. But we're going to be doing a lot of fun little things to set ourselves up for a good year. Because why not? I love having fun little things to do to make me excited for the new year. But got my Starbucks, got my sandwich, ready to sit in a chair and get my hair dyed for like five hours. Also, I remember to take before clips of my hair because I always forget. So I'm putting it here. So I can see the difference after when I'm editing this and I can tell myself that it was worth it. We're starting on such a good note. I just drove literally like 20 feet so that I didn't have to walk as far because I'm wearing my Uggs and I will do anything to protect these. Okay guys, I know we haven't moved positions or anything, but somehow we jumped ahead five hours. It is 3.20 right now. Actually more than five hours, but this is my new hair. Wow, I love it. My stylist today, her name was Amy. She was so sweet and she did an amazing job. I felt terrible because I just have really like awfully thick hair. So anybody who has to cut my hair or dye it or touch it or do anything is honestly like so much. But I love how it turned out. For those of you who ask i usually just find a picture i like and it's usually from their website i usually ask for like an ashy dimensional balayage or i'll like look up photos of an ashy dimensional balayage and find one that i like to curl my hair and i also just didn't realize how long my hair got but that ate up a lot of the day so let's get on to the rest of what we have planned for this productive vlog something about like treating yourself hair or like self-care things just like makes you so much more excited for the new year i'm actually um i'm gonna go to target I have to run some errands. I have to get some coffee. I'm a girl who loves her errands. Hello friends, it's now January 2nd, but I just wanted to give you a little update on how 2023 has been going for me so far. I know it's so early to say, but I just want to talk to you. Also, I think I'm obsessed with this like cutting the collar off of like t-shirts and like crew necks. It just makes it so much more, I don't know, cozy slouchy. Anyways, one big thing I always love to do during like, okay, I guess honestly anytime, but especially for the new year, I feel like it was such a nice reset even though i've talked about this because i did a whole room video but it does feel like kind of a waste because i am going back to school but i always come back home and it's so nice to come back to a clean more minimal room because i used to have like so many posters up and stuff so i kind of wanted to like mature it a little bit but i also want to show you guys here just a little overview of my new room because i i know i did it like two days ago but i still am obsessed with it so it's a little bit messier a little bit different looking than in my room video so you can definitely go watch that one to see cuter clips of it but the main thing i did was change like my bedding area and like i moved a couple things around first off i love where this mirror is because i feel like it feels a lot more spacious because like right when you walk in you see this huge mirror it used to be in this little corner which kind of like cut it off because it was very much in a corner so i didn't have access to that whole corner of my room i emptied this little table off a lot i use this sun lamp now instead of having like christmas lights up, which I feel like is a little bit nicer and then the biggest thing is that I added all of these little like shelves over here I'm obsessed with these book ones. I think they're so cool. I also love these I ordered these like Matisse paintings and I put them in gold thrifted frames and then I just put little things on the shelf 
that I already had. My desk, pretty much all the same. I moved a pillow over here. That just helps with like back support and like, I don't know. Pop of color, right? Over here is the same stuff, kind of just moved around, but not as much stuff on here. Even my shelf feels like more empty. I, oh, I was like, I don't know where all my books went literally up here might put some stuff here don't know but i like how empty it is it's so much nicer honestly i love how it feels filming in here too i feel like it's just a lot more spacious and it's easier to find like different nooks and crannies to film it but yeah that's just like a little quick little room tour in this video okay another little thing wow even see this corner is cute i didn't even like try to make it cute but another little thing that i wanted to chat with you guys about would it be a new year's video without talking about resolutions I think not. This is my journal, my new one, because one thing I am proud about is I finished one of my journals. I think it's the first journal that I completely filled in 2022. So I got a new one. This one's just from Target and it's really simple. It's like soft leathery and it has gold wording. I've been on and off writing in here. It kind of like, it really fluctuates. I haven't written much in here during break, which might be a good sign if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but I did make sure to write down some resolutions. So I want to share a couple of them with you guys. Guys. A couple of my like trying to be not so basic ones because of course reading more is on here I want to upload weekly to YouTube I think I like try to find a happy medium between this because I never want YouTube to feel like like I'm forcing something out that I'm not proud of or I'm putting stuff up just to like be in the habit of it but I want to be like more disciplined in it like I can lose a couple hours of sleep okay I think sometimes I prioritize my sleep too much but also sometimes if I want to like perfect a video too much it just like shortens me from putting as much content out and I feel like sometimes there do have to be like your normal videos in order for you to have a spurt of like inspiration and come out with the videos that stand out to you so I think that's a big goal and I think I talked about this in a recent video but something I've been struggling with towards the end of this year was is trying to spread myself out a lot across different medias and while I love all the medias like I love YouTube I just like love YouTube and I've been watching more YouTube videos also so I want to dedicate like the most energy and time to the platform that I love the most you know and of course like my opinion very well might change about this throughout the year but this is where I'm at right now and I feel like I have the most clarity of mind right now Anyways, one that I really liked was making sure that my friends know I appreciate them and like showing them how much I care about them and love them, whether that's like words of affirmation or buying them little gifts when, like not for a holiday, just cause I see it and I think they'll like it or I don't know, texting them out of the blue and stuff because honestly, I feel like being in a relationship taught me a lot about like expressing your appreciation for people. Even now I feel like I've grown in the way I show my parents how much I appreciate them and I'm more willing to say it to them or not try to like be an angsty teen and hide it from them so I really want to express that to my friends also and be like more intentional about it yeah I think I used to be like I'm not a words of affirmation person I don't receive them I don't give them it just makes me uncomfortable like I don't know how to accept them but I think I've learned a lot more in the past year like how all of the love languages are very very important and they're also very important to give so that's one thing that I really like another thing that I wrote um, was to compliment strangers more. Like, I think we all have those thoughts where you just see someone and you're like, oh, I love her outfit or I love, I don't know, their something, <laughs> shoes, whatever. But you don't like say it because sometimes it's just like out of the way or you don't feel like it. And it's like, why? Why not say it? Like, it's only gonna make someone feel better. Like, why not? So I think that my inner voice or like just being shy sometimes will get the better of me and be like, no, they don't need to hear that. It's okay, keep it to yourself. Like, you don't need to try to make small talk, but honestly like why not why not make someone's like day or just like compliment people like throw them out more freely not like in the way that they mean less and you're just throwing about to say it but if you think something like you don't have to keep it to yourself like that anyways those are just a couple of my favorite ones that i wanted to share with you guys yeah and i feel like it'll be fun hopefully i'm not gonna lie i never really look back on my videos because i like will cringe myself out sometimes but it will be interesting. Maybe it's just me saying it right now, but it'll be interesting in the future to look back on how I'm thinking right in this moment. 
Hi friends, so today is a really fun day. It's my last full day here before going back to school and I love to spend some time with my mom. We always go to our favorite restaurant for breakfast, which is Portage Bay because we are obsessed with Banana Foster, French Toast, and their fruit bar. And then I think this tradition started, it's not so much a day, but we just like to do the same activities. We like to do that and then we also like to get our nails done. So it's gonna be a fun, wholesome last day before going back and starting school but it's also kind of just a nice reset for the new year it's such a strong way to have the first week of the new year just spending time with loved ones doing chill cute little things like oh, we need a mom vlog in here we need mom energy back she just brightens up my day and i know i'm gonna look back at this video and miss it so much once i'm back at school what better way to start off the new year also just wanted to show you my outfit i know i wear this outfit all the time but i can't get over it and then i also paired this jacket with it and i think it looks so so good like this collar going over different jackets and i also like how this black belt matches the shoes and i also like how these shoes go with these really wide leg pants i just like so much about it and i also really like how my makeup turned out today so of course using my baggy notion bag i've been using that so much here this jacket is from nordstrom's it's pretty much it don't get mad at me this might be gross but i haven't washed my hair i just like got it dyed and i haven't washed it for like saturday sunday morning it's not doing too bad. It's just because it's so dry after like dyeing it so much. I'm trying to like give it maximum time to rejuvenate. <laughs> So we finished getting our nails. I also want to shout out that my mom and I are twinning today <laughs> Yeah, she copied my outfit and this is a scarf I made her I was wearing my white jacket that I showed you guys earlier and she said, oh, should I put my white jacket on too? Yeah, she said no, but I did it anyway <laughs> <laughs> But we just finished up the nail salon and I was gonna get plain nails But I got those like magnetic ones and I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're so shiny and fun I would show you my pedicure, but no, I can't. Why can't you? <laughs> I have to lift my toes up. But I'm driving us home now because my mom's wearing the nail salon flip-flops. I think this is a nice way to end our your visit. Yeah, it's sad. She it's doesn't want to go home. I don't want to go back to school. <laughs> I don't want her to go home. It's been a very lovely, restful break. And my mm -hmm. mom and I have watched lots of shows together. Yeah. And I don't want her to go. Okay. I will miss my Melanie. Ah, I miss you too. But we had a really nice Christmas and a happy new year. We sure did.